Let's talk about discounts. Should you have one or shouldn't you? Maybe you should only have a friends and family discount. We're gonna dive into that in just a second. Hey, I'm Josiah Blizzard. Welcome back to the channel. We talk about wedding photography, photography, filmmaking, creative entrepreneurship, all of those things on this channel. And today we are specifically talking about discounts and if you should have a friends and family discount and how all of that works. So what we do is, yes, we first and foremost have a friends and family discount. It's something that we do for, for weddings, uh, specifically really only for weddings. We don't really discount any of our portrait sessions or anything like that. But for wedding photography, we do have a friends and family discount. And the big you know, decision you need to make is who's included in that friends and family discount. Obviously, maybe some immediate family is, right? Parents, siblings, uh, you know, cousins, things like that could be in there. But how do you determine what friends make it into the friends and family discount? We do one really simple thing, and it actually is a little bit more complex than it is simple, but our rule is, if you were invited to our wedding, then you are in for the friends and family discount. And that also extends to, if we would invite you to our wedding today, you also get the friends and family discount because we've met so many people since we got married almost six years ago that we would now invite to our, to our wedding. If we were getting married next month, these people would be invited. We would give that discount to those people. So it's constantly kind of updating. Our friends and family discount list is, is you know, growing, um, but obviously too, you, you may fall, um, you know, fall away, fall apart from those friends that were invited to your wedding a couple years ago. So maybe some people might be out later. Anyway, that gets too complex, but essentially we just boil it down to is if you were invited to our wedding or would be invited to our wedding today, you are going to get those friends and family discount. And sometimes this even trickles down to like kids of people that we've invited to our wedding, steps, moms, close friends from high school, all were invited to our wedding. Their kids were not because we didn't have this crazy huge wedding. We had probably 150 people, maybe 130 uh, people at our wedding. If we were throwing this extravagant party, yeah, those kids probably would have been would have been invited. But uh, we shot each of those kids' weddings, and they were all given the friends and family discount because their parents were invited to our weddings. So that's kind of how we do things. That's kind of how we determine if you would get the. Um, friends and family discount. Simply if somebody inquires with you and you're wondering, is this person close enough to me to get this discount? We ask the one simple question, would they be invited to our wedding today? If the answer is yes, then they get the discount. If the answer is no, then they don't get the discount. It's as simple as that. So that's kind of how we work. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions about discounts in general or, or anything related to this video or anything, anything at all really, Leave it in the comments below. More than happy to answer that question for you. I answer every comment here on YouTube, or at least I try to, so I'm, I'm more than happy to answer your questions down there. And last but not least, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share this content with a friend who might find it helpful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.